Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Create Something Great. I'm Samantha and I'm so ready to start decorating for spring. The weather is finally getting warm and I'm so excited. The sun is out and it just makes me so much happier and I feel so much more light and I'm just so excited to start bringing in the colors of spring. So today what I came up with was a beautiful umbrella bouquet that is very simple to make. I think it turned out really pretty and it's gonna look really good either on my door or maybe somewhere inside. I haven't figured it out yet. So on to the tutorial. For this project, you will need an umbrella. I got a kid-sized one off of Amazon because I really wanted the kind that had the hook, but I also didn't want that one that was too big. It turned out to be perfect, and it was about $7.50 if I remember right. You'll also need an assortment of faux flowers. You'll also need some wire cutters, some inexpensive twine, mine's from the dollar store, and some scissors. The first step is to trim all of your silk flowers. Use some wire cutters to start snipping off the individual stems so they're all separated. I have three basic different types of flowers here, but you can do whatever you want and make it look however you would like. Once you've got all your flowers separated out, take your umbrella and you want to open it about halfway. Now to get it to stay, I just used a clothespin to hold the umbrella open partially. You don't want it all the way open, but you don't want it closed either, so this really worked very well for me. The next step is to start bunching together some of your flowers in a way that you like. So I just kind of gathered four or five different pieces together, arranged them in a way that I thought would look good. Then you're going to lay it down on top of one of the spokes or things, whatever those are called. I don't know, the metal bar thing. What you wanna do is lay them down right on top and then take a piece of twine near the end and tie a knot. And I just did a bow so that I can rearrange this later if I want to. But just tie it securely and then take a second piece of string and tie a little further down. You want it secured in two spots, trust me. I tried it with one, it flopped all over the place. Then you just want to continue to place similar bunches onto each spoke. You don't need to go all the way around the umbrella. You need to go about maybe two thirds of the way and leave a few on the back empty because you want it to lay flush on your door once it's closed. Once you've got all of your flower bunches secured to the different rods, you can fold the umbrella back up and see how it looks. You can take this chance to kind of make a little adjustments and rearrange as needed to make it look the way you want it. Once I had the flowers arranged the way that I wanted it, I just took a piece of ribbon and secured about halfway down the umbrella just to kind of hold it all together and keep it secure. If that thing that if the velcro piece that secures the umbrella is showing I just used a safety pin to pin it to the back so you couldn't see it and I also used a safety pin to secure the ribbon in place to keep it from sliding down the umbrella and that's it you've got your beautiful umbrella bouquet ready to hang up wherever you would like well guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope I inspired you to create something great of your own. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought and if you end up making anything like this, please send me a picture somewhere on my social media. I would love to see it. Also, if you would like a full list of supplies used in this project and any additional, if you wanna see additional pictures or anything like that, you can visit my website, samanthacamillos.com for more information. The link will be in the description below. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe. It's my goal on this channel to inspire people to create beautiful things in their life, whether it's a craft or not. So I hope you'll join me here on my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.